All new at 11 o'clock tonight, a seven-year-old boy's life is being remembered after he tragically drowned nearly a week ago in an Avon retention pond. Police say the boy went to this pond with his two cousins, then witnesses say they found the child in the pond and immediately tried to save him, but the boy didn't make it. RTV6 reporter Ebony Monet has been at a vigil tonight and joins us live now with more. Ebony. Drew, tonight's prayer vigil in celebration of this young life took place right about here next to the retention pond where the accident happened. I spoke to his grandmother who tells me the water actually brings her a bit of peace. Javon was so special. His smile could light up any room. The hallway, wherever he was, he was smiling. People who knew Javon Shaw shared tearful memories. How can we make our world a better place? How can we make how can we make the world a better place? And I have to say that just Javon's presence in our school made our school a better place. <laughs> and we're gonna miss him, but we're gonna we're gonna celebrate him. Friends and family say the seven year old loved music, books about teddy bears, and going to church. We come before you this evening. I ask you to please bless this town that you have called to your home. Mm -hmm. You've taken it away from us. You know we all loved him. We cared for him, but you have taken mm -hmm. you, <laughs> mm -hmm. You've taken it away from us. Some of the people here Sunday were also at this Winbrook subdivision retention pond nearly one week ago. They responded to a 10-year-old's plea to help his drowning cousin. Javon's parents thanked the Good Samaritans for rushing to pull him out of the water and for performing CPR until the paramedics got there. And I'm so happy that he was, that you were here with him. And, and I just thank you from the bottom of my heart. Javon was in the neighborhood visiting his cousins. Hendricks County authorities say they were heading to the playground, but stopped at the pond to pick lily pads for their moms. After the prayer vigil, friends, family, and neighbors released lanterns in honor of the free-spirited kid who they say never had a bad day. Javon's visitation is set for tomorrow morning at his family's church in Indianapolis. Reporting live in Avon, Ebony Monet, RTV6.